Hey guys, how are you all doing? So in today's video, I'm going to just chit chat with you guys and talk to you guys about letting yourself go when you know after you have kids or just letting yourself go in general, but basically letting yourself go as a mom, you know, after you've had kids. And you know, I'm also going to be showing you this hair. It's from Larima Hair. Do you like it? It looks beautiful. So I'm going to show you how I install and lay this wig while I chat with you guys, okay? So if you would like to hear my gist, then just keep on watching. And this is the wig, it comes in this bag, so I'll just quickly remove it from the bag, yeah, so that's the wig, yep, so this is the inside, so this is the 4x4 four four closure, like I'm so excited about this, so this is the wig cap in place, and then, let me just wear the wig on my head before I you know go ahead to style it and also flat iron it okay yeah it's quite transparent that means it's even easier than i thought i already thought it was going to be easy but it's even easier than i thought anyway so let me just remove it now cut off the lace and also pluck this pattern a bit so that it will be a little bit more realistic i don't understand why you're thinking of you had me alone Alright guys, so this place is actually quite dark, so I took it to where you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? Yeah, I also went ahead to bob it with my straightener, so this is the hair after, you know, doing that. Yeah, it looks really good, really, really good. Anyway, um, I'm still going to straighten it more, but let me just quickly do my makeup while I discuss with you guys the topic for today, which is why women let themselves go. Why women let themselves go basically after they get married, after they have kids, you know? Um, yeah. So I'm going in with my color pop foundation. I'm actually cleaning my face. So yeah, when you are first, um, you know, when you're single, it's easy to judge married women and say, ah, ah, what happened to this woman? When we saw her, when we first knew her, she used to be very hot. You know, she used to be a baby girl. What happened to her? She just let herself go. How could she let herself go, you know? And then when you're married and you have, when you're married and you don't have kids, okay, you'll be wondering why those who have kids have let themselves go. When you have one child, <laughs> you'll be wondering why the woman with two children, uh, it's not the same, I have children, she has, I mean, I have a child, she has children. So why is her own different? Why is she like this? You know? Um, the woman with two will be judging the one with three. Basically, everybody judges everybody, okay? <laughs> it's just human nature, it's just the way human beings um, operate, everybody judges everybody. But one thing a lot of people don't know is that once you start having children, a lot of things become more difficult, okay? Especially when your children are still very little. It becomes very difficult to keep up with appearances, let me put it that way. It becomes very difficult, like, especially when you don't have that much help. Those of us in Nigeria, some of us are even lucky, we have, you know, uh, our mothers around, our mother-in-laws around, we have house helps, we have family around that you can quickly drop your kids at if you need to do something, you know. We're actually lucky, some of us in Nigeria, most of us usually have good support system here in Nigeria, so it is easy to just be wondering, ah, why is this woman? Why is this woman's own as if her own is different? Like, like, uh -uh. are you the first to have children, you know? So for a lot of women, it's not even about the physical stress, it's about the mental stress they are under, 
you know, a lot of women just <laughs> like they're finding it hard to even survive the day. Not talk of, you know, actually trying to look good on top of all of that. So it's really not easy. Mm. And this thing happens gradually. It happens in such a way that you might not really know that you're letting yourself go until you look back at where you're coming from and you're just like, <laughs> like what happened? <laughs> You might think, yeah, it's not that bad, uh -uh, it's not that bad, I've not really let myself go, I'm just, you know, I'm just taking my time, <laughs> or I just don't like makeup the way I used to like it, I don't just like making my hair the way I used to like it, my priorities have changed, you know, yeah, that's what we all tell ourselves, but, yeah, sometimes it's actually you just letting yourself go, like, you can't really keep up with appearances while trying to take care of your home, take care of your kids, it becomes a lot. Um, I'm using LA Girl. I've been using LA Girl for the longest time. Like, <laughs> if you follow social media, if you follow what society, how society looks looks down on women who let themselves go, you are, you are going to feel depressed. Okay, you are going to feel sad. You are going to um, you are going to have this pressure on you to always look a certain way. Uh, I'm so lucky that I don't really have that pressure on me. Not because. I, I still look how I used to look, but because the people around me, they, they understand, like, you know. <laughs> but one thing I always advise women is please take your time, okay? Do what you have to do to put you in the mental space to be able to look good for yourself, okay? Don't put looking good in the forefront. Like, if you are not looking good because you are stressed out, you are going through, you know, emotional and mental stress, solve the emotional and mental stress first before you try and look good, okay? If looking good is going to help you solve the... Because some people, when they, you know, try and do their makeup and dress up, they, they feel better about themselves. If that's what is going to help you feel better about yourself, then please go ahead. But if you're just doing it to keep up with appearances, almost like you're putting plaster on a, on a rotten wall or a rotten foundation, you're going to put plaster there, then you're just doing yourself, you know. So take your time, like, don't allow society to pressure you into feeling like... Like, now your own was passed. Like, uh-uh. Are you not seeing your mates? Uh, are you not seeing your mates? There are a lot of women that I know that after they had kids, eh, they almost um, disappeared. Yeah, they almost disappeared. Like, you won't see pictures of them on social media. They hardly post. People that used to post a lot before, they hardly post. And these are people that were even posting even while married. So it's not like, oh, it's the husband that stopped them. Even while married, they were posting. But after they started having kids, they don't, you don't see their pictures anymore. Um, you don't even see there. Some people even don't go out as much as they used to. Some just, some just go back into their shell. You know, go back into a shell that, you know, they'll rather, they'll rather be in that shell than actually, you know, come out looking the way they look. So, my sister, trust me, the struggle is everywhere. It's not only you. Everybody's struggling that struggle. And when I see women who every time they're looking prim and proper, hair on point, face on point, makeup, nails, this and that, I'm just like, ha, nah. <laughs> Sister, how is your all working for you? Like, show us the way now. Hmm? You guys, so I'm done with my makeup, okay? Yeah, so, um, as I was saying, when some women actually are done with, you know, actively raising their kids, when their kids are older, when their kids no longer need them 247, a lot of women actually bounce back. A lot of women actually get their bodies back, get themselves back, you know, get get back into, you know, the game. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but let me just call it the game. A lot of women actually get back into the game. Seeing the changes that are happening to us as women, it's a little bit harder for us as YouTubers, you know, or people in front of the camera anyway. When you see it happening to you live, you know, even looking at old videos of yourself, you <laughs> you will just be like, what? What? <laughs> because sometimes I, I even get recommended my old videos, you know. I get recommended my old videos and when I see them, I'm just like, eh? How did I change so much? How did I change so much? So, yeah, my dear, it's not easy, oh. On a motherhood, okay? Let's blame it on the motherhood. But yeah, to be honest, it's, it's mostly caused by motherhood. Uh, let me just straighten this front part a bit. Yeah, I think I'm done straightening this hair, you guys. Like, how do I look? How do I look? Do I look like a baby girl? Do I look like a baby girl? <laughs> yeah, I know I look good, okay? Baby girls for life, okay? Um, yeah, so like I was saying, 
about letting yourself go and stuff like that is sometimes inevitable for some women. Some women have to let themselves go so that they can, you know, achieve some other things in their life, you know, while some others, you know, they are able to balance it well. So any which, any side you fall on the spectrum, okay, just, you know, embrace it and enjoy the journey and you know enjoy the process while it lasts and yeah if you are having emotional and physical stress that is causing it then just try and eliminate some of those stresses and try and you know make out time for yourself to actually do some things to make you feel and look better because even as a mom you know looking and feeling better actually helps you to take care of your kids and your family better yeah so that is just what i wanted to chat with you guys about while i laid this week do you guys like this hair but look at me look at me how do i look <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.